Human. Hey! Allow me to handle this. They were trying to create a new key. I may not have much time left. As we suspected, he was doting over Miss Elise. He would like my master to take her in. I see. Despite his failings, Jude takes his responsibility seriously. Yes, he is a most clever boy. That he is. I still haven't heard from my people at Fort Gondala. I imagine you're growing impatient. Would you like me to dispatch Rowan to check on the preparations? Very well. I will send him at once. I'm counting on you, Rowan. I will not let you down. How long until you return? Let's see. It should take me no less than a day to get to and from on horseback. Oh. I suppose that means we'll have to bid farewell to our new friends tomorrow. Looks that way, if everything's on track. That settles it. Today, Ellie, Mila, and I are going shopping! Shopping? For real? Hooray! Time's a-wasting! Let's go! Wait, where are we going? I promised to take Ellie shopping, silly! If you're leaving tomorrow, today's our only chance! Ah, very well. You two carry on with your consumerism. I have no need for trinkets. It's not gonna kill you to tag along. Yeah, you might actually enjoy acting like a human girl for once. A human girl? Strictly speaking, the concept of gender does not apply to me. I merely took the form of a woman upon manifesting in this room. <laughs> I can no longer obey the king. He uses his own people as pawns. It's time to stand against these tyrants. It's the only way to protect this precious peace of ours. Are you going to rebel? Is there going to be a war? I'm certain Noctigal has consolidated his power for an invasion on Azul. He has already shown that he's willing to sacrifice his own people to satisfy his ambition. If he isn't stopped, countless lives in Rashigal and Azul will be lost all for naught. I am the governor, and protecting the people who live here is something that I must do. That's not easy. You're right, but I'm responsible. Now, will you lend me your aid? But... well, I... Deposing Noctigal is in everyone's best interest. We must unite for this cause. Master! Clyde! Damn it! Heal him, quickly! Uh, right! Right, I 
made up my mind. Ellie, this is for you. Wow! That's not cheap. Just how much money do you have, Grisel? Now, don't be rude, Tipo. Thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. Hmm? You like that pendant, Mila? No, it's just similar to something I already have. It's just a boring glass ball. It is very pretty, though. Why do you have that? It was given to me long ago, by a human child. And you've carried it ever since? What if you dropped it? That would be a dreadful shame. I would be happy to make it into a pendant like this one. Good idea. Let's do it. This is quite pleasing to the eye. Thank you. Ah, stop, please! Resist, and we will show no mercy. What is the meaning of this? Cease your attack this instant! The governor himself has ordered all Rashigal troops to leave the city. And you are? A member of House Cheryl. Hm. Foolish girl. I'm under orders from the king to wipe out any and all rebellious elements. You will come quietly. Or else. What? Take them into custody. House Cheryl is conspiring to rebel against the throne. like the sound of this. Let's run! The doll is right. We must escape before we're surrounded. Something major is at play here. Stick with me, you two. Okay. Well, who do we have here? <laughs> Don't just stand there. Take her! Them, yes? <clears throat> Arrest them all! to Fort Gondala. I see. You decided to finally wake up. How dare you trap us in here? I am Gilland, 
Deputy Chief of Staff for the Roshigal Military. <laughs> Call yourself what you will. You're just another of Nautical's dogs. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. There's something I'd like to ask you. You stole the key to our device, yes? What device? And I hear you hid it somewhere, correct? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> On your feet! Out of the cell! Move! Now, let's try this again. Where did you hide the key? What key? Wait! What are you... No! How horrible. Look at your ankles. That woman was wearing the same device. If you pass through that hex zone while wearing it, well, you saw what happened. You won't get away with such brutality. It's a violation of the Sapstrath Convention. Now where is the key? You're wasting your time. You don't care what happens to your friend here? Your threats are meaningless to me, human. I have no fear of death, or injury, or loss. Go ahead and push me through. Push us all through. Maybe then you'll see I'm not kidding. Preparations for the experiment are complete. I leave the prisoners to you. Make her tell us where the key is, or else. Yes, sir! Start talking! <laughs> What's wrong? Your boss left you a big job and you have no idea how to accomplish it? Why not start with a full body search? You'll learn quickly I don't have this key on me. Fine. Not the sharpest blade in the Roshigal military, are you? Now let's see if the hostage strategy works on your comrades. Drop your weapons. I've had enough of this place. Drissel. I don't suppose you can wield a sword. I figured. Elise, you look after her. I can't! Not without Tipo! What? I need Tipo to fight! It's okay. I can look after myself. Don't cry, Ellie. I'll protect you. Let's go! Very well. We'll need to get these shackles off first. Right. Hmm. We'll need a key or some means of deactivating it. We'll find our solution, and find Tipo as well. Giselle, 
We have to hurry. But if we get careless, our heck... Yilin said they only explode when you step in a hex zone. It seemed quite precise. It should not explode a... You have that much co It's merely conjecture. So in other words... That is correct. I'm a daughter of House Cheryl. Are we going to... Yeah. I believe this is the key to their control room. Will Tipo be there? He has to be. We'll find him soon, okay? <sighs> it's been so long since I've had a fight alone. I'd forgotten how tiring it can be. Are you okay? Don't worry. I will protect you. Thank you. You just said that you were willing to sacrifice us. Now you're gonna protect us? Which is it? Hmm. It's both. If I can protect you, I will. 
However, if I'm forced to make a hard choice, I will not hesitate to do so. That is my duty as the guardian of this world. <sighs> we can't tarry any longer. We have to move on. I don't know how anyone could carry that burden. I understand. My brother has that duty too. Tipo! Where are you? Elise, fear and panic won't bring Tipo back to you. But... Mila, can we stop? I'm gonna teach Ellie my secret magic spell. Here, if you do that, you can give me half your set. Okay. There. A little... See? When I would... I think we're ready... Drusel! I'm sorry. I'm not good at... No. Thank you. Hmm. I should be able to move this box. This isn't 
good. Girl, you me. Keep moving. Wait, that soldier had... Looks like a key. Well spotted. Thank you, Giuseppe. See? Even I saved the day... Tipo! 
they mustn't put them in undue danger. We have to proceed with caution. Attack! 